Hey guys, this is Devin here with Hillbilly Networks again. Today I wanted to show you how to use a live fiber detector, um, also called a live uh, fiber finder. Uh, a lot of people call it a light finder. Um, you basically use it to clamp on to a fiber that you think may or may not be active. Um, and without breaking it and having to test either end, you can clamp in the middle of it. Um, and it'll actually bend that fiber to a mount where the light actually escapes out of that bend. And this detector can read that light and give you the light levels. Um, it can help you identify you know, if the fiber's active or not. Um, say you have access to that switch port um, or the optic, you can actually turn the optics on and off or turn that switch port on and off. And you would actually see the light level drop and then go back up. And then you know for sure that's the fiber you want. Um, but I'm going to show you real quick. Here I have an Expo live fiber detector and I'm going to clamp it on. First I'm going to show you up close how you do that. You slide this cover up and then in between here is a channel. The fiber is going to go in that groove and you're going to kind of hold it down with both fingers and you're going to take this button, clamp it down that bar will come down and push down on the fiber. It'll slide this over until it clicks and it's gonna attempt to read it. This is what you're gonna get if there's no active connection on the fiber. Um, it's gonna be like negative 55 normally. Um, ignore the little light here. Um, that's just cause it thinks it sees something, maybe sunlight coming from one side or the other, or light from the room. But here's what it looks like when you clamp onto an active fiber. I slide that between there, between that channel, hold it back with two fingers on each side, clamp down, close the cover. And it's important to close the cover because that helps eliminate the sunlight or light from the room coming in because it actually throws it off. Now you're going to see it says negative 5.0. That's actually a very high light level. And that's because I'm really close to the transmission source, the switch or the optic that's actually emitting that light. Um, but you'll see here there's an arrow to the right. That's actually telling us that the light is actually traveling this way down the fiber. So I know that the source is coming from that way. And uh, that is it as far as a live fiber detector goes. Um, they're pretty simple to use. If you have any questions or comments, as usual, please let me know. Thanks.